Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. For this video, I have a math lesson, and it is probability. So, of course, for vocabulary, we need to know what probability means. And probability is the likelihood of something happening. So, usually probability goes like this. We need to find out how likely or unlikely an outcome is. For example, how likely is it to roll a 6 if I roll a die once? So the outcome is a 6 and we need to find out how likely it is. So here's the formula, you will need to find the probability. The number of events that favor the given choice over the total number of events. Using the formula, let us now solve the probability of getting a 6 with one roll of a die. Of a die. The reason it says die is because that's the singular form of dice. Dice means 2. So here, for the rest of the video, the formula will be in the right hand corner and it is the number of events that favor the given choice over the total number of events and as you saw in like the original picture it, the problem like it had dice it had darts it had like cards because those all have to do with probability because you never know where the dart is gonna land unless you're like a super mathematician that can calculate all that stuff but you also never know what card you're going to pick. So probability basically tells us how probable something is or like how likely it is that we pick a certain thing or we don't pick a certain thing. Back to the pro probability of getting a six with one roll of a die. If you know how a die looks, you'll know it has six faces. One, two, three, four, five, and six. That means the total number of events is six since there are six possible faces that the dice can land on. Out of these faces, only one of them is a 6. So the probability is 1 out of 6 since 1 is the amount that favors the given choice of getting a 6, and 6 is the total number of faces or total number of events. Sometimes we need to change it into a percent, but in this case we can leave it as a fraction. A more challenging problem is how unlikely is it to choose an even number? Write your answer in terms of percent, and so here is all the numbers and once again the formula so we should find the total number of numbers in this case there are 14 numbers we can count 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 next we should find out how unlikely it is to choose an even number what this means is we need to find all the numbers that are not even because they would be the unlikely numbers in this case, 3, 7, 5, 13, 11, 5, and 9 are not even. The reason I put 5 twice is because it has 5 twice on the chart. So yeah, these numbers are not even. If we count up all these values up, we will find that there are 7 numbers that make it unlikely to choose an even number. Now since there, the number of events that favor the unlikeliness of choosing even is 7, and the total number of events is 7 over 14. Usually, we should simplify, but in this problem, we are required to write it in terms of percent. So if it didn't say percent, we would simplify the fraction, but now instead of simplifying, we'll just immediately turn it into percent. When you divide 7 and 14, you get 0 0.5. So when you turn this into a percent, you get 50% as the answer. Okay, so now we have the practice problems. Pause the video and solve. Once again, the formula if you need it. Okay, hopefully you pause the video and solve, because now I'll be going over the problems. Number one, what is the probability of landing on a number lower than five? Sorry if this was hard to see, but it just says one, two, three, four, five, and six. There are six different numbers, one, two, three, four, five, and six, as I just said, and that means the total is six, so it'll be the denominator. 
the numbers that are less than five are one, two, three, and four. That is four values or four events that favor the given choice. So we get the probability is four out of six, but this can be simplified by dividing the top and bottom by two and we get two over three as the answer since it does not say to put it in percent. Now number two, what is the probability of picking a red color ball out of a bag with 74 blue balls, 10 green balls, and 21 red balls? Write your answer in terms of percent. Very important, remember it's in percent now. So the total would be adding all the values 74, 10, and 21. 74 plus 10 plus 21 equals the total as 105. Now the amount of red balls is 21, so the fraction is 21 out of 105. This can be simplified by dividing the top and bottom by 21. When you do that, you get the fraction as 1 over 5, which needs to be simplified. And what I mean by now it needs to be simplified is it needs to be turned into a percent. And the reason I, like, remember in the other problem, I didn't simplify it like 7 over 14? That's because it's easy to convert it, but 21 over 105 is much harder than 1 over 5, so why not just turn it into 1 over 5? So now we need to simplify it into percent. So turning this into a decimal first, we know that 1 divided by 5 is 0 0.2, and then this becomes 20%. So the answer for number 2 is 20%. Well, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed another PowerPoint, which I'll continue to do because I feel like it's much more better and organized. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed, and thanks for watching. Bye!